Hello, Steve here with another do-it-yourself video. This video is about how to troubleshoot an ABS problem in my 2001 Chev Tahoe 5.3 V8 automatic four-wheel drive. The symptom is that under high rates of speed, the ABS works perfectly. There are no codes shown on the, on the dash, no ABS uh, light is on or brake light is on, but at low speed, like very low speed, as if you were ta driving beside someone who's perhaps walking, that kind of speed, the ABS is cutting in and uh, making it very dangerous to come to a stop if you're going slowly. So I had thought that maybe it's because of a sensor that was failing and um, I thought maybe it wasn't bad enough to trip a code in the ABS computer but uh, failing nevertheless. And my thought was that the coil, which is, uh, this is the sensor right here, it's simply a coil of wire and uh, a magnet flies by it that's right down in that hole right there in the hub, flies by it, and the uh, faster a magnet goes by a coil, the larger the voltage, the induced voltage is in that coil. But I thought maybe at slow speed, the amplitude of that voltage is much lower, and if the coil was starting to fade, or the sensor was starting to fade or degrade, maybe it would not be able to uh, pick up the, the right, uh, right reading from the magnet. So, uh, long story short, is I looked in on the web and found that these Tahoes, and many GM pro products are very susceptible to having corrosion build up underneath the sensor. The sensor used to be plugged into that black that black hole right there, that black hole that's right in front of at the end of the sensor. The sensor was plugged into there and it was held in place by a let's see if I can tell you by a five mil uh, hex bolt. So a five mil hex. And uh, pulling that uh, bolt out, I was able to extract the sensor. Um, I'm seeing a coil um, of copper wire, very, very fine copper wire, at the end of the sensor. And I'm wondering if that should have been covered by a plastic. You know, maybe there's a plastic cover on that thing when it was new. And maybe the cover is stuck inside the uh, hub. But, um, but since I pulled the, the sensor out, it was kind of difficult to get out. I used some penetrating fluid, and I wiggled it for about five minutes before it popped out. Anyway, so I'm not sure if a sensor is supposed to look like that. I would think it should be covered with a plastic sleeve, but um, not sure. Nevertheless, uh, I disconnected it right up here over the shock mount, and uh, there's one end of the connector, the female end, and that's the end that goes to the, uh, the ABS module. And uh, this other end is the male end, and I had to adapt some little uh, clips to get onto there. And uh, you can see the resistance of that is 1,044 ohms, 1,045 ohms. It's fluctuating a little bit, but not much. And uh, I would assume that's normal for uh, for this sensor. Um, when I do the other, when I check the other side of the vehicle, I will uh, check its resistance as well, and I'll I'll post it in my comments for this video. So what you need to do is uh, get the sensor out. And actually, when I took the sensor out, I could see about a quarter of a millimeter, maybe half a millimeter, of just scale and rusty garbage that's underneath the sensor and uh, I used a knife to kind of scrape it away when I was before the sensor was even out but I could see how that that uh, bit of corrosion could hold the sensor slightly away from the hub and um, I've read some sites on the net that say that is more than enough to cause the sensor to not pick up the rotation of the uh, the, the uh, magnetic ring that's inside the hub and so I'm hoping that's my problem and uh, so what I did, pulled the sensor out, and I was very careful. I cleaned the whole hub before I pulled the sensor out because I don't want any crap to drop down into that uh, into that black hole that's right there where the sensor goes. So I cleaned it as best I could, blew it out with compressed air, and um, hopefully that's uh, that's all it takes to get this thing to work properly at low speed now. So that's it for my do-it-yourself video on how to troubleshoot your. Uh, ABS cutting in at slow speed for no good reason on dry pavement. Good luck with your project.